Hi, uh, my name is Kyle Wibrecht, and I'm a junior in uh, college at Huntington University at the time of recording this. I've been creatively involved my whole life. I grew up drawing and sketching and tracing and expressing whatever my tiny little brain could come up with. I was also very musically involved, starting violin in second grade, trumpet in sixth, drums in eighth. My parents are both theater nerds, so I grew up with a lot of plays and productions and stuff like that too. <laughs> I've always had that passion to create. And when I was a freshman in high school, I was introduced to the common internet Let's Players on YouTube. Good morning, ladies. My name is XFK, and welcome to Subnautica. Oh, okay, I'll only need to it. See you on the flip side. Oh, my... And uh, yeah, I was just intrigued by the simplicity of it all. I mean, you never think that you can make it so big on the internet and make money and good, like, loads of money just by playing video games and posting it on the internet. You know, it's, it's crazy. And it wasn't until my freshman year of college that I decided to start my own content creation journey as well. And it's been a long and slow journey, but every moment has been memorable, to me, at least. And when I started, I was only doing exclusively gaming content. Uh, it was fine, and it was on par with other beginner gaming channels, but it felt like I wasn't using my talents properly, you know? There was, like, some part of me that was still longing to get that hobby out. With college, I ended up going into studying animation. And, you know, I, I love storytelling and being able to to visually bring stories to life. It sounded like a lot of fun, which is true. It, it is very fun. I ended up learning a lot of the basics of a few softwares, and ultimately I was able to make an animate film, quite a few things that I've been able to upload onto YouTube that, you know, it's just that extra outlet of those skills and abilities that I have that I could put out there. Shortly after, I started actually making and uploading music uh, on YouTube, and now every other platform you can listen to music on. Um, they were mostly cover songs, but a few originals as well. Uh, my very first piece of music I actually uploaded on YouTube was my original song, Gone But Not Forgotten. Uh, it's a Unis Honus memorial song. Funny enough, my music uh, right now is among my most viewed videos on YouTube. Um, and honestly, I'm just honored to have been able to share with so many people and give others the kind of entertainment that I love. You know, I love music and being able to share my music with other people has been phenomenal. I don't know where my path leads. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my degree. I don't know if YouTube is gonna continue to be the place where I exist, you know? But regardless of what I do, I think the most important thing that I've learned in this journey, this, this creative process of my life, is that it's important to recognize and try to satisfy all creative parts of your mind. You know, there's going to be parts of you that really want you to listen to music. There's parts of you that want you to watch that movie. There's parts of you that want to draw that character. It's very important to try your best to satisfy all those parts because there's going to be that sense of longing in your mind, you know, and, and that's very difficult to work with. Yeah, it's, just, it's, it's important to try and express yourself in every way that your mind is capable.